Uh, Joey, on awards night, you dropped the retirement word, <laughs> and I'm pretty sure fans would be happy to know that you weren't on about this season. You're back for your ninth year. Firstly, look back to that 2014-15 season. Did you ever think you'd be around this organization as long as you have been? Uh, no, definitely not. I think when I first arrived in Cardiff, I thought I'd be here maybe a year or two. But obviously, it's a place that's captured my heart and uh, love being here. Over the years, we've seen many people stay like yourself and people return. We've got Gleason Fournier's come back. Matt Caruso's has come back as well. What is it about this team in this city that makes people want to stay here? Yeah, it's a really special place. Um, I think for, for me, the people here that I've met, the relationships I've formed, that's a big part of it. Love the city. And then to be on a team with winning expectations that, you know, we get treated really well, obviously, is huge for, for us. So I think, you know, those are really important things. You stuck around for a bit this summer as well. I think you did the same last year as well. How much does Cardiff feel like home to you? Yeah, I mean, it does kind of feel like home. Obviously, uh, it's tough being away from family, and I'll, I'll get a chance to go back to see them and spend some quality time. But been here a long time now. Like I said, I've you know I, I formed a lot of you know friendships with people here. So this is what, kind of what I'm familiar with and is home right now. Let's look at last year. First year under P. Russell. Obviously, the league was a tough one to see. It was really just a little bit too hard to catch, but... How would you sum up that first season under P. Russell? Yeah, I mean, when you when you look at the league, I mean, ultimately we want to win the league title. That's the main thing. Um, so we fell short. So that's disappointing. But, you know, we finished second place. Um, you know, I, from what I've heard, our winning percentage some years, some teams won the league with that winning percentage. So, you know, you know, as disappointing as, as it was not to win, I think we're really close. It was a good year. Our second half was really good. Obviously the first half, you know, I think it was – not ideal a lot of games continental cup some injuries so you know i think with the league yeah it was tough uh we just fell short and then challenge cup was disappointing once again um no excuses but i think you know that qualifying game against glasgow fell at a time where we played a lot of games really demanding so you know that was uh that was disappointing and then i think you know the playoffs was ultimately kind of maybe the most disappointing because i think we went in there pretty confident you know thinking we could win we were playing some good hockey Obviously, it's a one-game elimination. Kind of anything can happen, but that was pretty uh, disappointing. Do you feel that with the disappointment of last season and also stability with a new coach who's going to be sticking around, is that going to help build the foundations to hopefully try and make a run at some silverware this year? Yeah, definitely. I think uh, you know the more experience you have, you got you got to sometimes go through those growing pains. I think um, Pete's familiar with this league, but you know Cardiff was new to him. Um, obviously, we had a lot of new players as well. That's why I I think it's. I think it's really important when you bring guy, back guys like Fournier and Carruth that have played in this league, they've won here, you know, they've experienced it before. I think that's really important because winning the league here is very unique. Not many professional leagues are, are structured this way. So guys that have been through it and understand that the importance of every game, um, I think, is a huge advantage. You mentioned Carruth and also you mentioned the winning expectations around this side. Does having um, Fournier back in particular... Is that going to be a massive boost to the squad because, you know, he's been here, he's done it, and, you know, he's he's proven that he's probably one of the best defensemen in this league I've seen. Yeah, definitely. He brings that experience. Uh, you know, he's a little older now, so I'm sure he's matured, um, you know, on the ice as well. So bringing in a guy like that is, is really important. In the locker room, on the ice, he's a great player. Um, you know, the fans will see that, the, the new ones. So really exciting to have him back. We could talk all day about your abilities on the ice, but I know you're quite a humble guy. Uh, that being said, you're 35, you'll be 36 when the season starts. What are your expectations going into next season? Um, you know, I, I think I try to approach each season the same way. I don't really have, have personal goals. I just I try to have an impact on the team in both ends of the ice. I try to lead, you know, by example every day, uh, whether it's, you know, off the ice or in games. I obviously look, look I'm looked upon to produce and hope to continue that. So, you know, in any area that I can help the team, that's what I'll do. It's early in the off season. You probably know a few more names than I do about who's returning next season. Without giving anything away, how excited should fans be? I think the fans should be very excited. As I mentioned earlier, you know, last year we were second place. We were really close, and and that's why I'm I'm really excited to be back this year because I have a lot of trust in our management to kind of improve upon the pieces that we need to to get us over the the next level. And and I think they're they're going to do just that. Obviously, with the two signings, uh, sorry, and you know, Brandt as well, a huge re-signing. You know, the team's already looking really good, so I think the fans should be really excited. Finally then, still a while until the season starts. How do you go about this period of the year? Is there a lot of rest and relaxation, or do you just go business as usual, getting in the gym? Yeah, I mean, after the season, you take some time. I did a bit of traveling, which was nice. Uh, now you're kind of um, 
slowly getting back into it, try to correct the body a little bit before you start lifting some weights. And then you kind of get in the routine and structure again of, of training and preparing for the season. But I think a little time away mentally, physically is, is definitely important. Well, Joey, thanks so much for joining us. Welcome back to the Devils and hopefully enjoying the rest of your summer. Thank you.